residents at the Landing Retirement Community in Lincoln have something they need fixed. They call Ray. Ray T. Meyer is more than willing to share his fix-it skills with anyone who needs help. And here with this latest edition of Lance's Journal is our Lance Shortland. Schwartz, Lance. Good to be hey. with you guys tonight. <laughs> hello, hello. Ray T. Meyer doesn't move like a man on the doorstep of his 90th birthday. Every day, he's down in the space where he feels most at home, in the wood shop. It's there where this former Lutheran minister gets a kick out of just horsing around. Each one is a person to me, and each one has its own personality, and each one is different. Ray T. Meyer's love of horses was born on a small farm near Rockport, Missouri. I only rode a neighbor's horse once and I fell off. Despite the spill, young Ray's appreciation of horses grew and grew over the years. Ray took a class and learned a new hobby after he retired. He's been making horses out of wood since 1991. And one person who knows all about Ray's many endeavors is his wife, Alma. Well, I've known him ever since uh, I was f five months old. That's right. Alma met Ray when they were both still in diapers. We grew up in the same neighborhood. This picture taken in the 1920s shows Ray and Alma in the very early stages of their relationship. We have a picture of me in the high chair and he's standing beside me, two years old. He's two years older than I am. These two have been married for 65 years. He's not only done this, he's made all the furniture in the uh, uh, chapel upstairs, the altar and everything. Ray has also received numerous thank you notes for such tasks as refinishing a chair or cutting a cane off to the right length. It's all volunteer work. He's always there and the residents just love him. Debbie Patterson is an employee at the landing. He's not one to ever brag about himself and his, what I believe are God-given talents. That's why it's so special to have him here and that he was so willing to share what he has carved and the beautiful, beautiful horses with all of the residents. I have a book there of carousel horses. This 89-year-old is very passionate about his wood carving. They very carefully go up each leg. Time flies when you're having fun. I bring in some coffee and a roll and sit down here and two hours later I haven't touched the roll nor the coffee. Who needs rolls and coffee when you have that kind of purpose? Ray is living right as he helps his fellow neighbors, creates new wooden horses, and spends quality time with his wife, who he has known for just about nine decades. Congratulations, Ray. You are a talented man, and I appreciate you sharing your story with us. They have a pretty wonderful love story there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Met as infants, still in love 90 years later. It's yeah, a beautiful thing. That can't thing. happen very sure. often. In terms of his craftsmanship, though, I remember when I was a Cub Scout making boxcar racing things. Mm -hmm. uh, th those I had a hard enough time making, and those were square. The, the artwork that he creates is just fantastic. Yeah, yeah and Ray picked nice. that all up after he retired, took a class. Who knows what you can do after 65? It's a beautiful it's thing. The way to do it. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Lance. Mm -hmm. We'll update your forecast next.